Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm your Embedded Librarian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of our research databases, U.S. Major Dailies, to find newspaper articles on your topic. For my examples, I'm going to use student debt. Hopefully, using this database will make it really easy for you to find articles that provide examples of news, commentary, and opinion. So I'm on the library's homepage. You can get to the library's homepage from the college's homepage by clicking on quick links and then scrolling down to library and chat. Now that I'm here on the homepage, because I'm looking for a research database, US Major Dailies, I'm going to click the research databases link. Then I'm going to click the databases A to Z link. And this is gonna take me to an alphabetical list of all of the library's databases. We're looking for U.S. Major Dailies, which is at the end of the list. And once I see the name of the database I want, I'm just going to click on the title. At this point, if you're at home and you're not logged in yet, you'll be asked to put in your um, username and password, and you just use the same one that you would use for Canvas. Now that I'm on U.S. Major Dailies, I have to kind of think about how I want to prompt the search engine to look for articles on my topic. So like I said, um, the topic I'm searching for is called student debt. And it's really important to me that these two words show up next to each other. So I'm putting quotes around them. And I'm looking at the impact of student debt on college students, so people in college. So I want to add an additional term so I make sure it's going to only bring me back articles that talk about student debt within the context of college. So I'm going to add an AND and then college. And this AND is in all caps because it's a command to the search engine in this database saying only bring me back articles that talk about student debt and talk about college. So I have over 7,000 results. The first thing I want to do is limit to full text. And you can see that I've got all kinds of stuff. Audio and physical work, video works, newspapers, magazines, blogs, podcasts, and websites. So let's limit to newspapers. And I can start scrolling through um, the titles of the articles that I'm seeing. Um, I can see that they're showing up in 2024, so I don't see any need to limit by date. And sometimes you can tell by the headline if the article is news or if it's actually commentary or opinion. So the student debt debacle, is the post-secondary education system sustainable? The word debacle makes me think this is probably commentary or opinion. Um, I clicked on the title. This showed up in the Wall Street Journal online in October of 2024. I can scroll down to see the full text of my article right here. It'll suggest other articles. Um, you can save a copy of this article by downloading the PDF. Um, you can print it. You can get the citation by clicking on this little cite button and you can get the citation in all these different formats. And if you click this little three dots, um, it will give you your other options of the other places where you can save your article. I go back to the results. I'm going to look at some other um, headlines. Student debt of millions goes unpaid. Let me open that up. Reading just the first few lines of this New York Times article, to me it looks like a news article. I don't know what you think, but to me that's, it looks like that too. You know, and um, you can go back to the results again and you can kind of go through and and get a good idea of the different types of coverage that this topic got. You can also use this document type button over here on the side to limit to news or commentary or editorial, but you have to be kind of careful because sometimes their tags don't match what I know to be true or what you've learned in this class. So hopefully using this database will make doing this assignment really easy. Good luck.